Now out here live on the campus of DeMatha Catholic in Hyattsville, Maryland, of course, after leaving here, Cam Wake wrote quite the story for himself. He became a star at Penn State, then went undrafted, played two years of the Canadian Football League before being signed by the Dolphins. He keeps on writing remarkable chapters in his career. Right now, he ranks in the top 10 in the NFL in sacks with six at 35 years old. Ravens aren't playing very good football coming into this game. They're three and four, but they are five and zero oh all time on Thursday night football here in Baltimore. If you want to see a big shootout tonight, you might want to bet against it. These are the two worst teams offensively in the NFL in terms of yards per game. DeMatha Catholic is one of the most prestigious Catholic boys schools on the East Coast. It's produced over a dozen NBA players, including last year's number one overall pick, Markel Fultz. It's also had its share of NFL players, but none the caliber of Cam Wake. It is here where he first started showing the signs of aggression and discipline and dedication that we see on the field today. Despite how rough this game felt, the Finns are still 4-3 and three and now have nine days off before they play their next game at home against the Raiders. One of the best defensive ends in the history of the Miami Dolphins wanted to be a basketball player. Here at DeMatha Catholic in Hyattsville, Maryland, Cam Wake did not know much about football until his junior season. It was then that a coach and fate intervened and changed the future of the Miami Dolphins. Cam told me that head coach Bill McGregor was the one who convinced him to leave the basketball team and pick up football. I was a little aggressive for, for, uh, for basketball, to say, to say the least. But that aggression was perfect for football. Then going by his first name, Derek Wake went from having never played football to being one of the best high school defensive linemen in the country in just two years. He was just the best pure athlete um, that, I've, that I've ever played with and, and, and ever seen on the high school level. And the other thing that, that, that you saw in him was a great competitiveness. His inside, he had, he had a heart of a, of a, he has a heart of a lion. Some still call him Derek at his alma mater, but the rest of the world knows him by his middle name now. Coaches and teammates saw what Cam could be, and Cam himself gives credit to DeMatha for charting him on the right course. That mentality is fine. You can get your work done, do what you need to do so you can do what you want to do. You know, And uh, I think that started with Coach McGregor and the math program. As a football coach, you know, you never know if the boys can, are good enough to make it to the NFL. But, but I knew that he has, he has that internal drive that separated him from a lot of other guys. DeMatha Catholic has one of the best athletic programs in the entire country. A school administrator told me today they can't wait to put their most prized former football player in their Hall of Fame. They just have to wait for Cam Wake to retire. With how well he's doing now, who knows how long they'll have to wait. In Hyattsville, Maryland, I'm Matt Lincoln, CBS 12. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that the Dolphins players we spoke to this week don't respect, trust, and even just plain old like Matt Moore a lot, which means they have plenty of faith in him here tonight. Yeah, I mean, Matt, he, you know, he has a big personality. He's like moving and he's happy. And he just looks like he's having fun playing ball, man, just like he's in high school or something. It's an emotional game. I'm an emotional player, I think, and um, it's always better when you're having fun. As the saying goes, the most popular player on a team is the backup quarterback. Within the Dolphins locker room, that might not be far from the truth. Man, I just like his swag, honestly. You know, uh, ever since I first got here, you know, Matt's been my favorite player. I tell him that all the time I see him just because he comes to work every day with the same, you know, attitude whether he's playing or not playing. He's just the same guy. Over the last year, Moore has earned that faith, going 3-1 and one down the stretch last season to earn the Finns a playoff spot, then leading them back from a 14-point deficit to beat the Jets on Sunday. You know, the way he came in in, in, in that second half and he just you know, he kind of just, you know, came in there with, you know, it was, it was no drop off. I feel like he's a leader. He want to push everybody to be their best. And, you know, even, you know, even guys that's, you know, on, on the opposite side of the ball. You get rattled, but I just think you got to, you got to keep a, a positive stance and, and uh, a positive attitude and, and keep the guys going. Um, and that's just what, kind of what I try to do. ESPN is reporting that Jay Cutler may be ready to play in the next game a week from Sunday. So this could be Matt Moore's only start and only chance to prove that he deserves not to be the backup going forward. Live in Baltimore with the Dolphins, I'm Matt Lincoln for CBS 12. John, back to you.